right, well, it is finally time. I've been teasing it all day, but it is time for the Madden 99 franchise. So what what I'm doing is I've I went out and got my collection of Madden. fun to go and redo some of the franchise modes for this game. Starting with the first one that had franchise mode for Madden, and that was Madden 99. I remember distinctly getting this game twice, actually. Um, on Christmas Day, both my older brother and our parents got me and my other brother this game. I, I had wanted an Asper 99. My brother wanted Madden 99, but we both ended up getting Madden 99. So, poor planning from a part of adults. Now that I'm an adult, I understand. But, I've been throwing some viewers out on this. Uh, who I should start the franchise. But I planned on doing it with the Saints, just kind of doing it old school how. I'm going to throw up a poll on Twitter and Chargers won out, so I'm going to start this bad boy off with the Chargers. Madden 2000, if you have more stuff too, I'll do the same thing, just get input from uh, everybody. So I'm going to start the franchise with the Chargers. I want to do the premise of this, go 10 years, see what we can do in 10 years, whether I get fired before that or we have some success, I guess we'll see, but the goal is to do this for 10 years, not physically. Hopefully that works out for everybody. Alright, so we've got the San Diego Chargers here. Let's go ahead and look through. Let's go to the front office and look through the roster that we have. Man, and we have a 79 overall rookie, Ryan Leaf. That is insane. Uh, if you don't know, there was a huge kind of, yeah, it wasn't really controversy, it was who was going to go number one in the 98 draft. Was it going to be Peyton Manning or Ryan Leaf? If you haven't heard of who either of those are, well, 
Peyton Manning is a, is about a year away from going to the Hall of Fame, and Ryan Leaf was out of football within five years of his career. So, so we've got a rookie, young rookie quarterback in Ryan Leaf, 79 overall. So that's a very strong start. 69 awareness, 92 throw power, 79 accuracy. Uh, a stat that was very uh, important. Not a lot of people paid attention to. But especially in franchise mode, the, the importance rating. So the higher that rating is, the more the more important that person was to getting the win. So when you're simulating, it takes that stat into consideration when uh, simulating the game. So as you see, he's got a high uh, importance rating, which means that with him at quarterback, we have a much better chance of winning than with uh, Wellahan. So that's our quarterback. Running back, we got Natron Means, who I was a big fan of because I, I was a big fan of Jaguars as a kid. And he was the he was the running back with Jaguars and Chargers, and he had that he had a badass. That's uh, really really when I fell in love with the uh, dark visor it was because of Natron Means. Uh, Hartley at fullback. Got Still Jones, Ricks. Yeah, our receiving core isn't isn't very strong. I'm going to go into free agency here and fix that up. Jones is an 84 overall. Got Jackson at left tackle. Uh, Taylor at left guard. Gordon at center. Might need to upgrade on center. Offensive line is pretty good except for the center position. And right tackle. Defense, we got Fuller. 88 overall. Coleman on the right end. Pretty good defensive line. Junior Seau, very good linebacking core. Govea, James, we could maybe right inside linebacker. I have to make a note of that. I got my pen on me. Excuse me, just gotta make notes. This is this is what we did. So just go through the roster, see what we're working with, and then make notes on kind of what we need to upgrade. So let me go back to make the First, so we got 65 overall center. All right, right tackle 66. Right inside linebacker. And this is stuff we I I'll either focus on in the draft at the end of the year or. I uh, looked through the free agency pool because the free agency pool is very easy to kind of, I guess, cheat the system with the, the way the salary cap works in this game. Rodney Harrison, there we go. John Carney, future Saints kicker for many years. Okay, so we've gone through the roster. I've got a short list, actually. When I was playing on doing this with the Saints, I had a much, much longer list. Uh, so here we go. Get out of here. Go to sign player. That'll take us to free agency, and you'll see what the salary cap is. The salary cap is, uh, excuse me, is 54,000,000.25, and we've got 45 million in salary. So what we can do we can go to release player. Now, nowadays you'll know you got cap hits, cap penalties, that kind of stuff. Back then it didn't matter whatever that salary was on top, no matter how long that guy signed for, it takes it right off the books, right away. So we can go through, try to find, whew, golly, keeping him of course, but if, if I were to release him, no matter how long his contract is, it would go straight to that that 5.32 million would be completely taken off of the books. So let's go through, see what, if there's anyone that we can just easily get rid of. It goes through the starters first, and then it goes to the backups. So like Fletcher, I can release get that 1.65 million off the books. Uh, there's 
really not a lot of dead money that we can easily get rid of because there's some of these guys that I want to keep on the team and other guys that the salary hit or what we would get in return isn't really worth it. Uh, let's see. No. So let's go back to free agency, take a look. I'll show you kind of what I always did uh, back in the day. This was kind of my MO. I always start with the Saints and they always need an upgrade in quarterback, running back, and uh, a couple offensive line pieces. So one of the first people I would go and get, I know Bennett always looks, uh, I guess, appealing to sign, but the Saints and the Chargers have a really good defensive line, so I'm not really focused on that, but what I would always go to first, let's go ahead and find them. So we had Jim Everett at quarterback, 35 years old, signed him for one year. And then would be a running back. And uh, one of the best ones to sign, you can either sign Hampton. Uh, he wasn't the one I always went with for some reason. You know, when you're a kid, you always you, you cling on to something. Oh, there we go, right inside linebacker. That'd be a pretty good pickup here. Let me do that one right here uh, let's go oh he's 24 let's go four years offer accepted there we go and it starts us all the way at the top and again uh, let's see Man. it's so so fun to go. Kirby was one that uh, I would, was one of my go-tos for running back, but also Maget. I don't know because I remember watching him with the New England Patriots. I believe he played with behind Curtis Martin. So that was a uh, that was a guy I always went to. You, you you see someone on TV, you watch them play, and you just you, you become enamored with them, and you just always you always flock. To that person in these kind of games, at least I did. Um, not really any good enough centers or right tackles for that matter. I haven't seen any right tackles. Please tell me, tell me in the chat if you have. While I'm going through here, because I'm really just talking away. There's a right tackle right there. Let's see. And he's only 28, so four years seems to be the go-to. Uh, anything below that, they'll usually reject it. Damn, it goes all the way back to. Come on, no centers. All right, so I've got my right inside linebacker and right tackle taken care of. All that's left is center. I don't really like to get anyone that's below 70 overall. Uh, even 69. It's still below 70. That's kind of what I stick to is Lewis Riddick. There you go. Uh, future general manager. That guy is, is a brilliant football mind. Highly recommend you going out and following him. Center, huh? Nope. I'm all the way down at the bottom. All right. So next up is we go and we get some of we reorder the roster now. Reap some of the rewards of our spoils. We try to log on here. Alright, Ryan Leaf. I mean to train them is my call. So yeah, I wasn't able, God, I wasn't able to find. I'll stick with that for a second though. Right tackle. And that's one of the things with this one is since this whole reorder roster thing is kind of uh, new, you 
instead of showing you the players like all the right tackles to start the top or the people with the highest overalls for that position it, it, it just doesn't make sense so you see I'm on the right tackle page and it going to the top it starts with left tackle so I have to go to left tackle and then down left guard center right guard right tackle it's a waste been since I played this game. Probably since Madden 2000 came out. Because we got that. We actually... Madden 2000's when we made the switch... At least in my family, we made the switch to PC for the Madden games. I can't wait to get to Madden 2000 next time. Alright, so that's left tackle, right inside linebacker. Get the Johnson in there. No, nope, that's the wrong Johnson. Probably shouldn't say that out loud. Alright, so we are good. Alright. Next up, let's go ahead and so here's really the main menu for Madden 99 franchise mode. You got your coach rating section, which is just uh, basically each week it changes that blurb on top whether you win or lose. Uh, they're usually the same week in week out depending on what you do uh, but it gives you your kind of your career statistics there as the coach uh, this was whew, it for console games it was revolutionary uh, at the time this came out in 1998 uh, me and my brothers we were playing the uh, front page sports football pro series on the PC at this time since about the early 90s so we were accustomed to kind of the career mode but this was the first time you know Madden jumped into that realm and it was really revolutionary for console gamers because there weren't a lot of PC gamers definitely not where I was growing up and and if there were PC gamers they definitely weren't playing simulation football games so this was really cool to see and being a big stats fan, you know, this screen right here was always my go-to after each week. Alright. So... That was that. You got your league news section. And all that does really is just shows you, you know, if there was any transactions, any injuries, that kind of thing. As you see, nothing's going on except for the Chargers signed a couple players for your contracts. What a hell of a GM, hell of a coach they got. Got your injury report. Self-explanatory. Go through all the teams. See what their injuries are. Alright. Next up, statistics, individual stats, team stats, team rankings, team standings. Nothing crazy here. Very bare bones. Uh, user interface. Nothing. Nothing over the top nothing extraordinary and it's not terrible but if this was definitely new you could tell this is not something they had a lot of practice with so let's go ahead and then your team schedule it's like okay so we start with the bills and we go on the road against the oilers golly we start the first six games we only have two two home games that'll be Let's hope this young team can, with with a stud, stud rookie quarterback, and <laughs> Ryan Leaf. All right, here we go. It's time to start. Saints play the Rams. And you know, there's still there's no Browns. This was a year before the Browns show back up. But there's actually a code you can put in in the main menu. Uh, there's a little place that shows for. I, I'm using hand signals. I know I'm not visible right now but there's a little there was a code you can put in uh, welcome back and then you can play with the Cleveland Browns 
All right. So first game of the season against the Chargers. Yes, simulate all games. Let's go. And we lose 20 to 10. Ooh. As you can see, the league is not very high scoring except for the Lions. Barry Sanders running all over the place. Let's see how we did in that game. Ryan Lee, 13 of 28. Okay. 149 yards, a touchdown, no interceptions, though. So I'll take that. Eight carries for 28, 28 yards. That is not acceptable. And that, it, it wasn't until, I think, Madden, Madden 2001 is where you can uh, change your kind of coaching philosophies, whether you run the ball more, pass the ball more, that kind of thing. So you're kind of at the whim of the computer here. All right, so that was, just want to show you, show everyone what this kind of looks like. Individual stats, I think they're, yeah, then you can see the whole, each division. It's all in these little, it's not, nothing's controlled with the uh, shoulder buttons. It's all just kind of through this user interface. Warren Moon looking great. Love Warren Moon. He's a Hall of Famer, but still the most underrated quarterback of all time. All right, NFL. Let's see how week one went. Brett Favre, 16 of 21, 238 yards. Three touchdowns. Three touchdowns for Dill for four touchdowns for Scott Mitchell. Man. Jeff George. Jeff Blake. Drew Blood. Jeff Blake, who after this season went to the New Orleans Saints and promptly got hurt, which led to Aaron Brooks getting his getting his start. Becoming the, the quarterback of the future for the Saints. Alright, Holcomb 26 for uh, Corey Dillon, 24 attempts, 98 yards. Barry Sanders, 23 carries, 131 yards. Garrison Hurst, Abdul Jabbar. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much what the stats page looks like. Nothing crazy, nothing revolutionary, but for the time, this was really awesome. Player awards. This is opened up now. It wasn't opened up before, but we got our offensive and defensive players of the week. Barry Sanders, 23 carries for 137 yards, 7 catches for 66 yards. Holy cow. 200 yards of total offense. Even virtual Barry Sanders is a monster. Which is to be expected. Alright. So let's go through this again. Oh, wrong button. Man, load times are criminal back on the PS1. Alright, we're the only game that has yet to run a delay. Ooh. Ouch. 44 to 13. Do have any injuries? No, I figured our defense would play a lot better than this. And so here's what the coach rating looks like. It lost. The front office staff has been openly critical of your coaching decisions on third down. And our worst losing margin is 31, and our biggest win margin is 0. Career team points per game is 12. That's that Ryan Leaf. Ryan Leaf is really coming through in the clutch for me. See if Ryan Leaf will continue his ways. Week three is a win. 24 to 6 over the Chiefs. Alright, that's good. Let's see what our and I'm really just showing you what typically was how, how it was played. Alright, so we got a win. So coach, add another win to your career win total. That's just one win, not another, so. But we did finally get a win. So after three games, usually after three to four games is when I would look at the team stats to see how the players were doing. Ryan Leaf, a respectable 47 of 
27 of 81. 535 yards, two touchdowns, three interceptions. That happens. He's a rookie. I'm okay with this, but that 70.6 QB rating, I'm not entirely thrilled with. All right, rushing. Natron Means is only 44 for 168. Fletcher, the fullback, comes in and gets two touchdowns. Damn, this is not going well. Offensively, or defensively, we were getting crushed there for a bit. All right, so back to, got a home game against the Giants. There we go, back-to-back -back wins. Now we're cooking. I know, I'm excited about the Chargers too. All right, Saints are 0-3. I guess they could have used, used me as the head coach. But thanks to Chris for the vote for the Chargers. I believe I, I read something about the worst rated teams on this game were the Dolphins. And what, which blows my mind because Dan Marino was still in this game. I believe he retired after the 98 season. Uh, who, I'm going to have uh, the Jets, I think, too, which is a surprise to no one. All right, we're 2-2. Two two. It's Ryan versus Manning. Lee versus Hayden. I'm good. And the Chargers get another win. That's three in a row. So now we have a winning record. My coach rating has to be through the roof. Last week's win brought praise from all the hometown sports writers. Fuck those guys. As more alcohol flows, the profanity will continue. But hey, we start 0-2 and then we win three in a row, so I am I am okay with that. That is a big win. Alright, so we got the bills or now, I'm going away from my three-week thing. Alright, we got the two and three Raiders. Let's give this one a go. Four in a row. 24 to 13. Man, this is good. This is real good. Ryan Leaf is not playing well. We're winning in spite of him, but he's got 1,081 yards, three touchdowns, six interceptions, and he's been sacked 14 times. 91 of 165. No touchdowns to speak of. It is all the running backs. Natron Means is stepping up. Fletcher has four touchdowns, two for two for Leaf. He's got 28 carries for 134 yards. He's averaging 4.7 yards per carry. I'll take it. He's got some of that Washington State flair. Come on, all right. Our receiving core still has got 24 catches for 340 yards, 19 catches, 316 yards for Jones. Defense. Bush leads the team in tackles. Coleman's got four sacks. Harper's got two. Fuller five. Sale's got 26 tackles. Really, Sale's not. Not playing as well as I expected him to. Five sacks for Davis. We're getting to the quarterback, which is the plus team stats. AFC West. We're actually one of the best teams in the division in terms of defense. I see in the AFC. We're in the lower half in terms of defense. The Bills and Jaguars. Jets, Bengals, all holding teams. The Bills, though, they're good. Lots of lots of fun stats to get to, to get to dive through in this in this game. Let's look at the standings so far. The Broncos, of course, are 6-0. They've got look at this division! 
back when the Seahawks were still in there. And, golly. Three teams are 4-2, and two, and the Broncos are 6-0. and oh. the NFC East, you got the Giants. And the Giants with Danny Cannell at quarterback. Cowboys with... Who still had the big three on this team as of right now. But look at their points for and points against. That's ours. Okay, that's fine. NFC Central, the Lions, Vikings, Packers, Bears, Buccaneers. Yes. The Lions are leading that division on the on the legs of Barry Sanders. And, of course, the 49ers with Steve Young, Garrison Hurst. Saints are 0-5, though. Let's see where we place. We are actually third in the AFC in terms of record, so that's good. Let's keep that rolling. Alright, let's get through this. I want to really get to the offseason. That's the best part of the franchise mode. Especially if your team isn't good. Ooh, 34 to 12 against the Eagles. Ah, uh, this was a year before the Eagles got down to McNabb. Saints still winless. Jaguars are two and four. Broncos six and zero. They coming off. Of, they are coming off a of bye week. We got the Seahawks now. Division game. Lose by one. All right, it's starting to fall apart. That's good. That's good. We want to fall apart. And we got a bye week. Week nine bye week. I really wasn't expecting to win four games. Uh, I wanted us to have a solid. Ooh, Jaguars beat the Broncos. I wanted us to have a solid draft pick. Maybe get a receiver in the draft. Ooh, that's not good. All right, let's see what what the league off or the team is saying about us. Better have a talk with your players. They seem demoralized after that loss. Well, we just got crushed by the Broncos. Defending Super Bowl champ Broncos. Alright, Ravens. That was another team I put on that Twitter poll to take control of. One of, one of just a bad team. There we go, four and six. We just keep on losing. Let's see, get the stats after this week. It's the Chiefs. We beat the Chiefs already, and they beat us. We are in a nosedive. We haven't won since we were four and two. Uh, is there an injury? Yes couple injuries. Rodney Harrison is out for the season. So yeah, that's a pretty big injury. I'm afraid to look to see what they're saying. I was let down. Maybe you should create some new plays and work on them in practice. Or you can... SAD. That's just me. Alright, let's look at our individual stats. Ryan Leaf, I assume, is not doing well. Uh, 60.9 QB rating. So my suspicions were correct. He's completed 55% of his passes, which I think is better than what he did <laughs> that year anyway. I believe he was below 500 or 50%. This is in baseball. He's got 1,861 yards, 5 touchdowns, 14 interceptions, and he's already been sacked 31 times. So, ooh, that's an offensive line issue. That's a Ryan Leaf is a shitty quarterback issue. So many, so many problems. Running the ball, Nature on Means has got 757 yards and seven touchdowns. He'll be a 1,000 yard rusher. Ryan Leaf's got almost 200 yards rushing and two touchdowns. John Carney, infinite, infamously. Not infinitely. Infamously missed the extra point after the Saints had that miracle uh, lateral play against the Jaguars to tie the game. Playoff hopes were still alive. Uh, I was like 
uh, six, seven, eight laterals. The Saints score. They just need the extra point to tie it, go to overtime, and John Carney misses it. So that's my John Carney story for the day. Bush already has 84 tackles, one sack, one interception. Uh, we're sacking the quarterback quite a bit. We just cannot... Our quarterback's getting sacked just as much, though, if not more. That's fine. I want to just keep losing. Let's keep this losing going. Cowboys are 9-2. That's weird to say nowadays. Alright, Broncos. Beat us again. Yes, 27-10. 17 point loss. I don't think you can get fired your first season. I think you can get fired your second season. Maybe third. We'll see. Ah, big win over the Redskins. Five and eight. Let me just skip to this. You can't. You can't do multi-week skips. I forgot about that. So many things I'm relearning. All right, the nine and four Seahawks. They're playing for so much. Let's just let them have it. There we go. Five and nine. Losing record for the season. We officially have a losing record. I'm not going to trade Harrison. He's young. Uh, who would I trade him to? Like the Patriots, maybe? I bet they could use him. Uh, not sure he would amount to much of them, though. Let's see. Okay. And let's finish the season with a big old loss at the Cardinals. Come on. 5-11. 5-11. 5-11. and Yes. Okay. 29-10. Alright, so, I've, I've got talent. That's not the issue, Chris. The issue is that the talent's young. Got the stud rookie. Have you ever heard of him, Ryan Leaf? Look at that, 61.6. Oh, that's a QB rating, that's not the passer percentage. Oof. 2,900 yards, 9 touchdowns, 22 interceptions. Sacked 51 times. Yes, I do, I do have talent. Ooh, maybe maybe I need some help on that offensive line. Running the ball. Ooh, Natron. I called it early. I said you were gonna said you were gonna get thousand yards. You kind of missed that. Ugh. Okay, receiving. 848 yards for Jones. He's our leading receiver. Yeah, not many not many touchdowns to go around when your quarterback only throws nine of them. 125 tackles for Bush. Only 82 for Seau and one sack. That is weird. Really expecting more out of him. Alright. So now that the season's over, let's take a look at the NFL stats. Let's see who led the league. God, Tim Brown, 1,699 yards. Irving Fryer, 1,436. More Chris Carter, Jerry Rice, Michael Irvin, Isaac Bruce, Andre Reed. 98 was a good year, wasn't it? So many good receivers. Terry Glenn, Ben Coates. I was a big Ben Coates fan. Great tight end. Chamara for the for the Packers, I believe. Yep, Green Bay. Keyshawn, look at you. No, wrong button. Damn it. I want to see who led the league in passing and rushing. Alright, so we got John Elway had the highest QB rating for the year. He threw for 3,300 yards and 28 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. And that's definitely something you'll notice in this game and some of the older Madden games is that those passing stats, because this was still a still a definite, definitely a running back driven league around this time. So the passing stat, 3,300 yards was really good. Johnson throwing for 3,800 yards is great. 
Brad Johnson, look at you. Future Super Bowl champion, Brad Johnson. So yeah, that, that was considered a phenomenal year passing yards wise. So you got Jim Harbaugh, Brett Favre threw for 3,500 yards, 21 touchdowns. Scott Mitchell, Aaron Kramer, Troy Aikman threw for 3,700 on the dot. Go for Peyton in his rookie year was way better than Ryan Leaf was. Ryan Leaf had almost threw for 4,000 yards to Jake Plummer. Young Dan Marino. Let's go. No, no one quite hit that mark. Alright, rushing. I go all the way to the top. Terrell Davis, 1,800 yards. Wins the rushing title. Jerome Bettis, very close behind him. Then Eddie George, Ricky Waters, Jamal Anderson, Tiki Garrison, Emmett, 1351. More gun. Speaking of New Orleans, Fred Taylor had a thousand yards. Marshall Falk. All right. Done with that. Now the important part is the league standings and where we sit. Ooh, I saw three and thirteen. Who was that? Ah, the Bengals. Take a look. Okay, okay, third, third. I'll take it. Saints started zero and six and they finished six and ten. That's actually, I'm actually impressed. Okay. So we got the third overall pick, it looks like. So I'm happy about that. Let's see what we can do with it. Let's get through the playoffs. Ooh, Patriots shut out the Jaguars. Chiefs beat the Seahawks. Bears surprised the Packers. And the Lions beat the Niners. Scott Mitchell. All right. Broncos squeaked by the Chiefs. Steelers crushed the Patriots. Falcons barely beat the Lions. And the Bears win a close one against the Cowboys. Conference championships. It's going to be the Broncos and the Fal... Wait a second. Okay. Hold on. No, no, no. This is too... Okay, NFL 1998 season. I want to see the entire... Oh, the Falcons went 14-2 and two that year. And the Broncos both... They both went 14-2. and two. I could have sworn that there was 2-4 and a four in there. Anyway... So, we've got the Falcons and the Steelers. No, Broncos in the Super Bowl. Let's see how this plays out. And the Broncos win. Big surprise. John Elway wins another one. This one was not for John. Okay. Wait, lots of loading back in the PS1 era. Lots and lots of loading. All right, here we are. We've got the team schedule. As you see, we there was a point in time there where we were four and two. And then things just kind of devolved from there. But look at that. Look at that total record of teams played. We kind of, kind of fell, fell on hard times. Okay. Let's see what our... The decision you make during the offseason will have a big impact on the team. I am aware. I really am. All right, so now we have 
Retired players. No players in the franchise team have retired, okay. Resign players. Man, these load times are killing me. Okay. Decisions to make. Let's see how many players we have. That's it. Okay. Probably not going to resign. Okay, I'm going to resign Bush after the season he had. He had 125 tackles. He's 29. Watch this. He won't accept three years. Oh, he will. That was surprising. Engel. What is he? Uh, yeah, 44 overall. That's a no. Price. 51 overall. That's a no. And Jones. It's an 85 overall. 24. That's a major yes. Let's see if I can sign him for the full seven years. Sure can. Perfect. They've got our tight, tight end of the future. Are still unsigned players? Release all remaining unsigned players? Yes. Preseason trading. No trades have been proposed to the franchise team. Free agent signing. We kind of know already what we need. But let's take a look at what is available. Quarterback Jim Everett, who's lost a step. 76 overall now. Running back, you got Hampton and McGiff. Oh, he's already got a receiver. We need Kirby Dardar. Yes. Big fan of him. Let's go three years for a one five. Uh, let's get age here. 31, 34, 31, 33. Dawson's younger. Dawkins. Four years. Okay. I uh, don't need a tight end. Center, though, we do need two. Oh. He's got room to grow. Right guard. In. Ooh. Wouldn't hurt to add top flight. Rodney Harrison doesn't get hurt, I think we we play a whole lot better. Let's see what we got. Still have our offers, yes. Saints, yes, just like they did in real life. Damn effort. I love when art imitates life. Okay, so we did sign Dardar. And we did sign Dawkins. So we're stacked up a little bit on receiver. Give Ryan Leaf some weapons. We got Newberry. Still trying to sign Burton. No one has matched, and we just signed. All right. Our 
Are you sure you want to advance to the end of the preseason free agent signing period? Yes. Go ahead and go through this. Got. I think I got what I what I would what I wanted. Hopefully, it's enough to. As long as we don't have injuries, get us some wins here in year two. All right. Brian Leaf improved enough. Cause that was an awful season. Just awful. Alright. Now we got the NFL draft. And we got the number three overall pick. Let's see what we can do. And there's only four, only four rounds. Wow. Do I want to improve the offense or the defense? Let's see what we got. Ryan Leaf only went up to 80 overall. Which I mean, still young. Got better receivers wise. Tight end, left tackle were good, left guard were good. Center, maybe in the later rounds. Right guard, good. Right tackle, okay. Left end, okay. Right end, maybe can improve there. Defensive tackle were good. Linebacker were good. Inside linebacker, okay, left inside linebacker we could improve on. Same outside linebacker. Free safety. Man, this is a tough decision. Can someone give me some feedback what I should go with? They can have taken Fryer as an inside linebacker, but there's also Woodson as a really good running back. Maybe trade Natron Means. our linebacker position. Oh. oh, still got those punters and kickers there. That's good. See on 2001, 2002 in the draft, it gives you like a little breakdown of the players. I'm more excited to get to that. Let's see what we got though. Okay. Escamilla. That's promising. Get a young guard. Cornerback. So we shored up our inside linebacker position. We can move him to outside linebacker. And got a pretty good rookie receiver. Let's go to the tackle. Only four rounds. strategy to get there. Oh man, look at all 
those punters and kickers. done. What's the next step? Oh, sign the rookies. Yes, of course. But of course. Yeah, seven years. Uh, there we go. These guys long term. Uh, let's go four years, nine, four, five years, three years, that's the lucky, that's the lucky number there. Three years, there we go. And Ryder, let's go ahead and get you in there, my man. Let's go four, let's go three years. Oh, that's fine. I don't want him anyway. That works out brilliantly. Coach Ray still the same. I don't remember if that changes at all. Nope, sure doesn't. Let's start a new season. Jazz infusion kind of song. Oh. Might as well get comfortable because this is gonna take a bit. Maybe, maybe come playoff time is I'll actually play some games. But right now I'm just trying to trying to keep my job. Turn off this. If I get fired, I'm thinking of this one. Alright, Ryan Leaf. I don't think there's an auto reorder. There is an auto reorder uh, option in Madden 2000. But since this was the first game, I should have went with the running back. Yes, look at all that. Oh, so good. So much better at receiver now. So I'm hoping that helps out. Brian Leaf. I guess time will tell. Okay. Oh man, this is gonna take a while. Damn it. We got way too many receivers. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a few. That rookie up there, though. And put Dawkins up there. Yes, we are loaded. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of we got nine receivers. Getting rid of some of those. Alright, Newberry. Starting there. Okay. 
Okay. Left end. Good. Right end. Good. In tackle, we've got some changes. Just signed Bush to an extension, but oh well. All right, let's release some players. We've got way too many receivers, so we're gonna get rid of a few. bring us down to six receivers and that also and, and I remember that. that also gives us some roster wiggle room I don't think there's anyone in free agency worth picking up obviously not But it doesn't hurt to look. Ooh. Yep, okay, good. That's a 98 overall already. It's a bunch of receivers. We don't need that. Really regretting not picking up a running back. Especially the running back I was looking at. But hopefully, defensively, Fryer can be a. Great pickup. Okay. So, nothing worth getting. See what our coach rating says. Okay, coach, you're calling the shots now. I already knew that. All right, here we go. New year. We got this. We we don't got this so far. Okay. Man, Chargers suck. I'll just say it. Chargers suck. Hey, big win. There we go, Chargers. Good win. Take a look at the stats. Let's see how Ryan Leaf is doing. Not well. 166 yards, 3 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. Hey, Charles only has 72 yards. Ryan Leaf is running for his life. back to it. Oh, did John Elway retire? Broncos are 0-2. That's a good indication. Mm, that's fine, because we're 1-2. Man. Don't think I can survive another losing season. Take Elvis Gur back. What? Not even 
for Peyton Manning. Troy Aikman. I'm gonna take anything just to, just to get some wins. Steve Young, of course it's been rejected. Jerry Rice is 100 overall, that's ridiculous. Eric Sanders is 100 overall. That's fair. Uh, I wouldn't get anything in return for Ryan Lee. How's Jim Harbaugh in 89 overall? That's for hot. Gross. Cordell Stewart is. No, John Elway's still there. He's still there. Go for a bomber. Well. This was fun while it lasted, right? I might get fired in season. Hey, there we go. Okay, the more I talk about me getting fired, maybe we can get some string some wins together. We're at home. Come on. No. No. Okay. Two and four. And I'm fired. Oh no! I'm a nice guy, but a terrible coach. I got fired mid-season. Oh man, that's a tough pill to swallow. Well, that sucked. Really don't. Well, guys, I gave it my best shot. My best was not good enough. Let's do, let's do a quick exhibition game then. Uh, let's do a divisional. Uh, terrible. Since I live here in Dallas, oh no, I'm in. So I live here in Dallas, I will be the Cowboys and we'll play the Giants. Where the hell are the Cowboys? They're right there. Uh, it's gonna be snowy. Modified roster off scatter report. As you can see, the 1997 Cowboys scored 19 points a game, held their opponents to 19 points per game. At 102, oof. 1997 Cowboys were not very good. Look at the, the 1997 Giants. They gave up a lot of 
Welcome oh, to Irving, go. Texas, home of the Dallas Cowboys. Irving, Texas. Not anymore. The this Texas is Arlington now. To play if you're the visiting team. Uh, that's old Fans Texas Stadium. The Cowboys, they're not afraid to let you know it. All their hollering could really make things tough on the visiting team. This will be fun. It's a cold and 26 snowy degrees. day here with the temperature well below freezing. I go with heads. And it's tails. It's Give tails. us the ball. I'm just going to pound it to end it. All day. Let's Danny Cannell. Man, this these graphics blew my mind as a in 1998. There you go. Good start. First and ten. Oh, yeah, you have to. Pick the formation you want, and then pick the formation within that formation. All right, halfback toss. Oh, man, he came in. I need to change that camera angle. That has not been the camera angle the entire time. But now, all of a sudden, it wants to be. Also four. Second down. Go theory receiver. The receiver drag across the field. There you go. First down. Seven. Davis. The holes are his tied 39 all-time cowboy record. This is only his ninth year as a pro. Thanks, John. It's one of his last years as a pro, too. He did not last very long. Ooh, big run by Emmett. Oh, EA Sports instant replay. Bounce off the... First and ten. Shotgun, quick slants. Oh. There we go. Two for two. First and ten. All right, Emmett. Uh, it's not a glitch, but an exploit you can do on this game are outside runs. They are definitely not defended well, you can rack up huge yards with outside runs on this game. Look at that. You can sit in zone. Uh, that is my point right there. Boom, spin move, break a tackle, get in there, juke move. Then you have to choose special teams. Fillable, fillable. It was a tougher time back then. It's up and it's good. Oh, 
We had four rushes for 38 yards and two passes for 30 yards. And Smith with a 24-yard touchdown. Jason Seahorn, hey, he's really Jason returning the kicks. Oh, get go, Ellis. Get your ass back. Oh. Big tackle. Tiki Barber. Second and six. A young Tiki Barber. Leon Lett. There we go. That's broken up by linebacker number 52. We're back in, back in NCAA. Canell, a 64 yard pass. Damn. Man, rough. Rough start defensively. Ah, I thought I could break it out to the outside. First and ten. Let's see who I have over there. Should be Irvin out there. Maybe I can. I had to juke him, but got crushed. I near passed to the. Second and two. Got to Johnson. The Moose. Daryl Johnston. Smith runs for a gain of four yards. Great announcing by Pat Summerall, by the way. Pat Summerall and Matt John Madden. What a great team that was. There we go. Aikman dissecting this Giants defense. First and ten. End of the first quarter. One, two, three, break. Fumble! Get on it! God dang it. Thank you, John Madden. Damn it. Shouldn't have juked. First and ten. I zigged when I should have zagged. Down. 
point. They got it. First down. I'll tell you, that was a great effort to get those guys doing out there. Yeah, no, I hear my phone, but I don't know where it is. There is a flag down. Holding on the offense. Yeah, push him back, Blue. Let's see, they're in the strong guy formation. That could be anything. Second and 20. Strong zone. Aaron Woodson coming in the later. Third down. Third and long. Let's do a zone blitz. Get your ass back up there, Ellis. Boom! Big sack. Once again, that doesn't sound they right. Got him. Sack. Suck on that canal. Thanks, John. About three minutes left until halftime. All right, Dion. Oh. First and ten. Hey, it's good of you to hold on to the ball this time, isn't it? Second and two. We got Lafleur Johnson. We got Moose trying Moose Johnson trying to hurdle people. Five for five. To go in the half. Sack. Dang it. Sacked him. Big loss on the play. Thank you, Pat. Should be the two-minute warning. Second down. Do a tall sweep, that should give us at least 14, 15 yards. Or more. Boom, big run by Emmett. 17 yards. It's not bad. Not bad, my man. Michael Irvin with a jump and catch. That was right on the mark. Uh oh. Timeout. Defense. Two timeouts remaining. First and goal. Oh, yeah. Touchdown, Emma. Touchdown, Cowboy.
gotta hold them. Just over a minute remaining in the half. First and ten. Second and nine. You know what? If that's what they're going to do, give me the ball back. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, give me the ball back. A minute left. Oh, the Giants call a timeout. I'll take it. Third and four. Oh, and I still have two timeouts. 50 seconds to go. Darren Woodson makes the play. Fourth and four. If I score a touchdown here, I'll call it a night. Flags fly. And a five yard face mask. That was terrible, though, Dion. What were you thinking? First and ten. Okay, let's see if we can do anything here for the half. Frick. Uh, oh, That's fine. Don't block. I don't need that. Second and ten. Right, let me show you how broken. This is, I'm going to run again, and I'm probably going to pick up about 15, 20 yards. Kind of out of bounds, though. If I, can, I can just keep doing that from side to side, side to side, picking up big chunks of yards. Look at that, nine attempts for 91 yards. Hit a hundred yards rushing on the day. Hundred yards in the first half. First and ten. All right, eleven seconds. Second and ten. Split in the streak. Got Irvin over there. Man. Never got to use my time. Come on. All right, guys. Well, it's been fun. I got fired. Not even halfway through my second season with the San Diego Chargers. So that was a failure, an abject failure for sure. 
But next time, let's see if Madden 2000 will be any different for us. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate everything. Appreciate the feedback. And we'll see you guys next time.